Reverts can be a little bit confusing and a little bit tricky. So what is a revert? A revert undoes any actions that have been done previously and sends the remaining gas associated with that transaction back. So what does that actually mean? Well, let's say for example, in our fund me contract, we have a UN256 public my value. And let's have my value initialized to one. Now in our fund function, let's say my value equals my value plus two. So every time this fund function successfully goes through, we add two to my value. However, if we get to a revert statement, even though we added two to my value previously, since our contract reverts, this would actually revert this action or reset it back to its initial state. So if this transaction reverts, my value would go back to one or whatever it was previously. If we compile FundMe, we delete our previous deploys. We're on the Remix VM. We'll deploy FundMe. We'll scroll down. We have my value, which defaults to one. If we call fund right now without any value, if we pull up our terminal, we can see the transaction failed. My value is still one, even though this line technically executed. This line executed, but then this line hit and it reverted what was done here. So if we scroll back up though, if we go to ether, we'll put one in for now, scroll back down. Now we'll hit fund. Oh, it needs to be more than once, excuse me. We'll add two here, scroll back down. Now we'll hit fund. That transaction did go through, which means my value will now be equal to three. And again, if I set value to zero, we call fund, it reverts. So my value is still three. So then the question might be, oh, well, did we spend gas to do this if my transaction didn't even go through? Well, unfortunately, the answer here is yes. If you send a failed transaction, you will spend gas because computers executed this line and then they executed this line and just failed. So users can actually specify how much gas they send with every function. Let's say there was a ton of computation after this require line, we would need to send a ton of gas to operate and run our fund function. However, once it gets to this require line and it reverts, however much gas that we sent to execute the rest of the computation would just get refunded to whoever initiated the transaction. Like I said, sometimes the refunds and some of that can be a little bit confusing. So again, for now, just know that if a transaction reverts, it undoes anything it does previously and you can consider the transaction failed. However, if you send a reverted transaction, you will still spend gas. But okay, let's delete this value for now, delete it from the global scope and delete some of these like that. In fact, every single transaction that we send will have these fields. It'll have a nonce or the transaction count for the account, the gas price, the gas limit that we've seen on Etherscan, a two, aka the address that the transaction is sent to, a value, which is gonna be this amount that we're talking about. We'll also have data, which is gonna be what we send if we make a function call or deploy a contract. And then it'll have this VRS components. We're not really going to go over these VR and S because this is that cryptographic magic that's happening when a transaction is signed, but just know that that's in there. For sending value, we can populate some of these fields. The gas limit, for example, is populated to 21,000. Data is going to be empty. And then that two is going to be the address of the transaction we want to send to. For a function call, we can also still populate the way that we want to send. So we can call a function and send a value at the same time. In Remix, it has a little drop down here for Way, Gway, Finny, and Ether. We're gonna ignore Finny for now, but of course we have our Way, Gway, and Ether again, where one Ether is worth this much Gway and this much Way. 